Uh, Jim, one last thing, because it's a follow-up, and I can't believe this has just been said to me by a couple of the listeners. <laughs> the timing is impeccable. Okay. Someone tweeted out to Dave Meltzer, why did they decide to do Penta versus Moxley? Is it because it's Halloween? Because they just announced it for this Wednesday on Dynamite. Dave responded, no storyline build. Feels like they wanted another good match for TV. A good match, Penta versus Moxley. And perhaps they got an idea coming out of it. So someone responded to that and said, TK reads The Observer every week, Dave. You gotta push hard for AEW to have a creative team or bring in a guy like Jeff Jarrett to be his right-hand man. There you go. Now, me personally, I wouldn't pick Jeff Jarrett, but I think the concept there is correct. Dave responded to that, Why not John Muse? Oh, Jesus Christ, what? what? Mike Tanay must have told him to stop doing that. He now has someone else he doesn't do. Well, yeah, and again, now we've gone over a lot of people's heads, and it's not your fault, folks, if you're saying who? John Muse is an old-time wrestling fan from the Detroit area that has read Dave's newsletter for 30 years and has never actually worked in wrestling, but... <laughs> Dave believes he'd be a wonderful booker for a national television company because he's read The Observer for 30 years. And I'm not even saying anything bad about John Muse. I've talked to him 30 years ago. But, but again, he's not talking about somebody who's actually flown this airplane. He's talking about somebody that rode on it once. <sighs> It's hysterical. Dave's going to insist on his person being the person that Tony listens to. And who do you think will be next? Will it be, I think I've asked you before, Zombie Harry White? Do you think maybe Pete Letterberg? Oh, by the way, get well, Pete. Do you think Pete could be in the running? Is Pete sick? Pete's been ill, yes. Well, get well, Pete. We, I told him one time, I said, I said, have you got a headache, Pete? He said, no, why? I said, anything looks like that has to hurt. What about Mr. Mike? Remember there used to be a guy, Mr. Mike? Mr. Mike's Mondo Wrestling. Yeah, he'd be a great yes. booker for AEW. Of course. It, it, you know, I was very perceptive or uh, I had a premonition or a prognostication or whatever the word I'm searching for because remember I've told you this before, but it's a God's honest truth. The first time I talked to Tony Khan on the phone after hello and hello, the first thing I said to him was, Tony, I'm the only person in wrestling that you're going to talk to that's going to tell you the truth because I'm the only one you're going to talk to that doesn't want a fucking job. And boy, howdy, that may have been the most prognosticative thing that I've ever said because it has turned out to be true with everybody. He's paying everybody and he's listening to everybody and everybody's out for their own purposes, and their friends and relatives. To be fair to Dave, he sees Jericho and the Bucks and all of his friends getting their friends hired. Do you think maybe he's thinking that? Like, it's time for one of my friends to get a job. Well, I mean, you know, he's had a bunch of friends get a job already because, you know, you see by the, the joke list and some of the people we've tossed that a lot of those people have been written about more in Dave's publication than they have in anything except possibly their parole officer's file. Um, but yeah, he probably figures, yeah, you know, we should go ahead and get some observer readers in here as a booking team. And then it'd really be going full force. And if, Brian, I like you and you know a lot about wrestling, but I don't know that I would nominate you to book a national television wrestling promotion. For one thing, you got a lot of shit to do to begin with, and I don't want to distract you because you're making real money. Right, I don't want to give up my jobs for this. Exactly. Yeah. But secondly, no, I don't think anybody should do anything at that level that they've never done before at any level. It's, it's just a blanket statement. <laughs> 